are in this prison world Doing my paces Doing my time I am Spending my restless nights Visioning faces The name of the program and the name of the project is called Behind These Prison Walls where a former New York City Department of Correction officer uses visual images to bring awareness to mass incarceration and youth in solitary confinement. Sometimes I go out in what, you know, what the criminal justice system calls high crime areas. I take my exhibition, I, I lay the artwork right out on the sidewalk. And the reason I did that is because um, a lot of people in these communities uh, don't go to museums, they don't go to art shows. So I bring the art show and I bring the museum actually to the community that, that I'm dealing with. From 1987 to 1999, I served in the nation's most violent adolescent prison on Rikers Island. I feel I'm an expert actually for being a correction officer, for working behind the walls, working with inmates, dealing with behavior, attitude. I know I'm the best person for this project because um, I've been on multiple panels, I've been on cable shows, I've been on television, and I haven't met a correction officer yet that is actually doing the field work that I'm doing. When I say field work, I mean working on the street corners, going into the schools, going into com um, at-risk communities where they label high crime areas, um, getting, that, getting this information out to the people. I have valuable information and experience working in the criminal justice system, so that's how I know that I'm the best person for this project. I've seen things that will traumatize me for the rest of my life. I've seen 14-year-olds year um, coming into prison with my, um, misdemeanors, uh, winding up taking felony convictions of state because they caught jail cases by not knowing what really happens in prison. So I'm very passionate for what I'm doing because I, I've seen those young men that were in the receiving room that didn't listen to their parents, that didn't listen to their guardians and wind up behind those walls and now they're forced into a world that they have no clue about. So um, again, I, I feel like I'm the perfect person to bring this information um, to the front line because I was there behind those walls. I feel working in the educational field as a, 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 a public school vendor, um, I work with at-risk populations in those high crime areas, those those low-performing school districts, and I see the young men and young women that don't take school serious, that are unmotivated, that uh, their parents are not informing them the proper way to go without um, giving our children the consequences of negative choices and decisions. So um, without this type of intervention, those children are destined for, for either death or, or to jail. Sometimes I talk to 300, 400 students at a time. After I leave the presentation, I have I have 20 or 30 students just standing around telling me, Mr. Steele, I didn't know this information about the prison system. Nobody is telling us this information, you know, and they know now that they're being lied to about, um, you know, people that are actually glorifying prison. So I know it's going to um, be some type of change from the ground groundwork level through the visual arts. The hopes of this project is to continue to, um, to be a, a voice to the voiceless those young men that are behind those walls that, that cannot tell the stories. So um, by me being there, I'm telling the stories to, um, to try to keep as many people out of the criminal justice system as I can. That's my passion. That's, that's my desire with this project. I can be a better man.